clause 4 statutory obligations notice fee and charges there are four sub clause here the statement may be referred from the pen contract 2018 statutory is related to the rules or laws which have been formally written down it is related to the legal issue in terms of the statutory requirements the contractor must comply with and submit all the notice required by the laws concerning the executions of the works and all the temporary works that means whichever works being done by the contractor including the temporary work it needs to be abide to the law and also in accordance to the proper procedures as per required by the government and local authorities in the case that there is any inconsistency between the contract documents and the law the contractor must immediately notify the architect before the commencement of the construction of the affected work these notifications must be written Having this notified to the architect, the contractor will need to seek instructions from the architect for the following course of action. Theoretically, architect must respond to the relevant inquiry and give clear instructions to the contractor regarding the matter. However, if the architect silence on this, within 7 days notice to the architect, no architect instructions is given the contractor will have to conform to the law conforming to the law will be the top priority when architect do not provide further instruction the contractor shall proceed with the word conforming to the law during the course of actions in conforming the law whichever change made as per necessary it will be deemed to be variations required by the architect as a result the contractor is eligible to claim for the cost for the work that has been done in conforming to the law the principle here is conforming to the law is the top priority in the case that the contract documents has certain things not meeting the requirements of the law the contractor will need to first notify the architect waiting for the formal instructions by the architect in the form of architect's instruction with the architect instructions the contractor will need to follow and abide to the architect instructions and thus the case close of course the instructions must be compliance to the law Let's say now the architect is not providing any response. In 7 days, the contractor may proceed with the work to conform to the law. And this work is considered valid and whichever cost related to that relevant work will be considered as the variations and the contractor is entitled to claim for the work being done. Next is related to the fees, levy and charges. The contractor should pay the indemnify to the employer against any liability due to the contractor non-compliance with any laws in respect to the executions of the work and all temporary work. It means that the work done by the contractors will have to comply to the law. The contractor cannot simply ignore that as this may result in penalties under the context of the law and normally this kind of penalty will be charged to the employer as technically the ownership of the project is the employer. Nevertheless, this penalty or indemnify trigger is actually due to the contractor's non-compliance to the law and this should theoretically charge to the contractor therefore the employer has the right to claim for the cost 
or the penalty as a result of the contractor non-compliance to any law when executing the work and all the temporary works. In another word, compliance to the law is a must by the contractor. He shall notify to the architect seeking formal instructions to proceed the next course of actions conforming to the law. If no instructions given by the architect, the contractor cannot simply ignore the law. The contractor will still need to conform to the law, and the relevant expenses can be considered as variations, and the contractor is entitled for the claim. Now, if the contractor chooses not to follow the law, either due to no architect instructions given, or either due to negligence of the contractor at the early stage, or either due to the ignorance of the contractor, knowing that it will breach the law, the contractor remains silent and not to conform the law. In the case anything happened, the penalties should be paid by the contractor himself. Although it is under the liability of the employer, but this is claimable from the contractor. Let's say now the contractor is reluctant to pay for those penalty. The employer has the right to set off the cost that is supposed to be paid for the penalties. To better understand this clause, let us look at the flowchart here. Based on the contract document given, the contractor will need to be vigilant to the statutory requirements. He will need to check the works and the expectations from the contract document, whether there is any violations of the law or certain requirements by the local authorities. There are two possible outcomes, whether the statutory requirements are met or not met. In the case that all the requirements are met, that means there is no violations of the law, then the contractor can proceed with the work. Let's say now the requirements are not met, it will be up to the response of the contractor whether he wish to rectify or not to rectify. Theoretically, rectifications must be made so, let us look at this path here. Let's say now the contractor wish to rectify it. He will need to send the written notifications to the architect. Make known the architect regarding the issue and wait for the response from the architect. Now, it will be up to the architect whether to issue the architect instructions. Let's say now the architect instructions is issued then the contractor can rectify accordingly and for the rectification work, the contractor is entitled for the variations. Let's say now the architect is silent on the issue. Now, no architect instructions is issued. One way or another, contractor will need to rectify it, even being disagreed by the architect. Because complying the statutory requirement or complying to the law is the utmost priority. Therefore, no matter what, the contractor will still need to rectify it and the contractor is entitled for the variations. Let's say now the contractor does not wish to rectify. The liability will be on the employer Whichever penalty charged to the employer shall eventually pay by the contractor. The employer may pay for the penalty first and then set off the cost from the contractor. This flow chart is applicable when the contractor is vigilant regarding the statutory requirement. That the contractor actually do check the contract document against the legal requirement. In the case that the contractor is not aware of those legal requirements, the floor chart will follow this path, where when come to the liability, it will still be the employer, 
and the employer will have to pay for the penalty cost and then the cost will be set off from the contractor. It is the obligations of the contractor to be aware of these statutory requirements. Negligence and ignorance will lead to monetary implications to the contractor.